solve x squared minus 8x plus 5 equals 0 by completing the square. So I'm going to get started by subtracting 5 from both sides of the equation. So we get x squared minus 8x equals negative 5. I left some room over here on purpose so that we can complete the square. And how do we do that? I'm going to take the middle term here, the negative 8. Actually, not the term, just the number. Negative 8. We'll divide it by 2 and we will square it. Now, negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. That is a number that we're going to add to both sides of the equation that will allow us to complete the square. So now we just factor x squared minus 8x plus 16, which will factor nicely into x minus 4 squared. If you have any problems doing this, just please take a look at our uh, factoring section, factoring trinomials, because we're looking for two numbers that multiply to 16 and add, add up to negative 8, so negative 4, negative 4. And x minus 4 times x minus 4 is just x minus 4 squared. Great. And on the other side of the equation, negative 5 plus 16, 11. Perfect. Now we can root both sides of the equation, just so we can get rid of this square here, because we want to solve for x. So you get plus or minus root 11. Great. So x minus 4 is equal to plus or minus root 11. Then I can add 4 to both sides of the equation. So x is going to be equal to 4 plus or minus root 11. So that's not a very nice answer because it's rational. But um, it is nonetheless the answer. Unless you want decimal uh, answers, we can't do anything else here. We can't simplify it further. So I will leave it like this. But if you were to find the answer is to two decimal places, for example. You would plug both into the calculator, both 4 plus root 11 and 4 minus root 11. That's it. 